we like biomining, and we have several bets in biomining companies. But transition biomining has a very key difference. It's already proven that the microbiome of copper heaps and the improvement of them is related to higher yields of copper, and there's lots of money to be made there. But transitions proprietary biostimulant technology allows it to do so as a drop-in solution with absolutely low capex. So the revenue to asset ratio is quite favorable for any biomining company. Copper is the lifeblood of the energy transition. Did you know a wind turbine can have as much as five tons of copper in it? Some Tesla models have 86 kgs of copper. I mean, supply just won't keep up with demand at this pace, and you see it in the spot price of copper, the International Energy Agency. Hey, you can find all of that on the internet. When it comes to the world of copper, we need to turn our attention to leaching. Leaching? Sweet leachings, to be specific. Hmm. Crushed ore is heaped into giant piles. Slowly, drop after drop, the ore is irrigated with dilute sulfuric acid to break the copper out of the copper sulfide minerals. The heap sits there for months or even years. So the energy transition does have a copper problem, but copper has a heap leaching problem. So why use this method? because uh, uh, ore quality is dec declining year after year, and there are about 100 megatons of copper that's trapped in low-grade ore that's already been mined out of the ground. And if we were to use traditional methods like smelting, the energy costs would just skyrocket. Super majors and incumbents are turning their attention to leaching. Rio Tinto, the mining giant, has a JV with Newton, a bio-augmentation approach. Bio? I've heard biomining doesn't scale. Yeah, biomining doesn't scale if you're working with microbes that are born and bred in labs and then adding them to these really rugged environments. Yeah, people have been trying to do it for decades and it really hasn't worked out. What makes you guys different? Well, every mine, every heap already has its own microbiome that's evolved to oxidize the ore and solubilize the metals in the process. These are nature's built-in miners. Yeah, so we're not adding microbes. We're working with the ones that are already there, but we're supercharging them with off-the-shelf biostimulants that we custom formulate for every mine. Yeah, and that doesn't need any expensive first look kind capex. Yeah, so we're bringing out the best in each heap, and we are accelerating the process of bioleaching and increasing yields at the same time. Even a modest 5 percentage point increase in yields at sites like the Morenci Mine in Arizona represents $75 million in added annual revenues. Help me understand how you guys come up with these custom blends. So it all starts with these column reactors that we designed that we're calling the Pink Flamingos. In there are samples from a real mine in Australia. And with the help of these little contraptions, we can squeeze DNA out of rock. We use sequencing and bioinformatic analysis to model heap microbiome interactions to formulate our biostimulants. In our first run, we discovered species in these ore samples that have never been documented in literature. We can do it right here in the lab at a fraction of the cost of an industry standard leach column. With just a dozen ore samples and our trusted pink flamingos, we can combine four families of off-the-shelf biostimulants. Screening a sample space with tens of thousands of possible combinations. Yep, there's no way I would have found that out.